<laughs> oh, how the devil are you? Anyway, uh, you know me. I'm always on the scrums looking for a bargain. And every day I have a little look on Facebook Marketplace to see if anything catches my eye. And today something did. I was like, ooh, hello. I like the look of that. So I had a look of it and it was a Cambridge Audio CD5 CD player. And it said it was spares or repairs. It's coming on, power going to it, display is coming on, but the, the drawer isn't opening. And I thought, do you know what? 90% of the time is to do with the belt. Uh, either the belt is slipping or it's snapped and a new belt should sort it out. Uh, so anyway, I paid the princely sum of five British pounds. Five quid. <laughs> Amazing. So even if I'm wrong and it's not the belt and it's something more sinister, I've lost five quid. Yeah, do you know what I mean? And maybe I could sell it for another fiver for spares or repairs. Who knows? But anyway, let's get the lid off it. Have a little look inside and see if I'm right. Fingers crossed. Okay, I can't see uh, where the O-ring is at all. So I'm probably gonna have to take this off here. So I'll just disassemble this here and whip that off. Okay, as you can see, there's no way of pushing that open. I just can't, I don't wanna force it. Now, I wonder if I turn this cog, see that cog there? If I turn that, will I be able to open it? Ah, there you go. So by turning this cog, there you go, look. Whoop. There we are. Fantastic. So that's working there. So the cog is turning this here. Ah, now there's a belt there. And what I'm gonna do now is actually plug it in and turn it on and see if I can see this belt spinning here to see if this is actually turning this belt. But it looks like it's all covered in, it looks like it's all covered in oil. So very unlikely, so I might be right. Ooh, got oil all over it. So let's plug it in, turn it on and see if it, uh, if it spins that belt. At the moment, it doesn't look like, no, nah, it's not doing anything. It's pretty loose, that belt is. Okay, let's move the camera a little bit closer so you can see. Uh, that's the belt there. It does look pretty loose and it is looks a little bit slimy to me. And uh, so I'm gonna turn the power on, see what happens here. Nothing. Let's just press the belt's not even moving it's not doing anything okay so I can't get to that belt so it looks like I have to take the front off by the look of it uh, so I'll just undo the front now and see if I can get this off to get to that belt underneath there okay so I've taken the front off hoping that I could get to the actual belt but as you can see underneath there there's no way to it it's got this little plastic thing covering it here so that's covering it there, so I've got no way to access it. And if I go around the other side, you can see here, this is the belt I need to change. Um, but because of that, this housing here, it's gonna be very difficult for me to get this off. I can get it off this side, but that side, the housing's right to the top of that. It should be very hard to get that off there and get it over the top and then get the new one back on again. Okay, so I put the front back on. Uh, it didn't do me any good, that, so. I stuck it back on. Now, I don't know what to do <laughs> because I could get some belt dressing on there and it may work for a bit, but then I reckon it would just conk out again. Um, so I'm gonna try and get that belt off. I reckon I'm, I'm having a good closer look at it. I reckon I can loop it over the top. So I'm gonna try my best. Oh, 
Oh, right. With the power of editing, that didn't take long. Believe me, I was sitting here for about 30 minutes trying to get that out. It's going to be a laugh getting that back on again, I can tell you. But that's the culprit there. I mean, it's covered in... Uh, someone's greased this at some point and it's put way too much on it's gone all over the machinery and this is where the belt is slipping i mean the belt actually looks okay i wonder if i can get away with cleaning that uh i don't know i'll give it a try maybe clean this with methylated spirits or some rubbing alcohol and then try putting it back on and see if it uh it works and if not i'll have to get a new o-ring one thing that gives me a little bit of confidence is the fact that the mechanism all works. You can see the drawer comes out, all the cogs are still intact, there's no teeth missing. And if I do it all the way back, you can see that that pops up into place there then. Okay, and that goes goes under there. And then when it comes back out, you can see. So that gives me a lot more confidence knowing that it is the belt. That's the problem. I've got uh, some new O-rings. And this is the old O-ring here. And I'm not sure you'll, that this is it's a little bit thicker, but it's just no grip in it at all. I can pull it through my fingers and it just slides straight through. It's so smooth. Um, there's just no grip in it at all. So these, the new one is, even though it's uh, thinner, there's a lot more grip on it. I, like I can't, it's very hard for me to pull that through my fingers so it should grip quite hard. And they're pretty strong. I mean, I don't think that's going to snap anytime soon. So it should be fine, fingers crossed. Now, I've also bought some methylated spirits. So once I finish with this, I can go for a drink later. Oh, me kidding. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to clean these, uh, these rollers here and then try to get this on there. I'm going to have to tech moan this to the max. <laughs> okay, I've managed to get the belt on. Seems pretty tight on there. Just hope it's gonna hold now. <laughs> um, I mean, I haven't shown how long it took me. It took me at least 20 minutes to get that on there. It's very fiddly. And see this bit here? Uh, this was joined there. I had to snap this off because I just couldn't get access. I couldn't get any, any purchase on it to get over that roller there. So I had to snap this off. I don't think it's gonna make a lot of difference. Uh, it, it really doesn't do anything. I can see, uh, so it should be fine. Anyway, so let's see if it's not, I'm gonna plug it in and see if it's working. Fingers crossed. Okay, so moment of truth. Well, it's working. It's a little bit slow, I have to say. A little bit slow. Um, but I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a slow mechanism, not supposed to be fast. I don't know. But there you go. Seems to be working fine. What I'm going to do now, though, is clean that tray a little bit. And maybe clean the lens just a tad um, to make sure there's no oil or deposits or dirt left on them. See, there's quite a bit of dirt on there, which I've got off now. So let's get it all put back together and see if it plays a CD at least. Okay, so I just plugged it in now. Uh, it works on analog leads, so it's obviously it must have a, a decent built in DAC in it. And uh, I've taken my phono leads from my preamp for my turntable and stuck it in the back of here. I mean, it's an older CD player, so it hasn't got any optical or coaxial out. Just a two phono leads, RCAs. So anyway, most importantly, let's see if it plays. So as you can see, it is, it is a little bit slow coming in and out. 
but it's doing it. And I wonder why, I wonder whether it's to do with the fact that the um, O-ring I used was quite a bit smaller. So it's probably very tight on them. And maybe over time it will loosen off. But let's see if it plays. It's loaded it up fine. Result, result, boo, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So it looks all, <laughs> sorry. Brilliant. Obviously I can't play a lot, but it seems to be working perfectly. And uh, it sounds nice and clear, you know, considering this is probably I don't know, 20 years old maybe? Uh, it sounds really clear, really uh, detailed. Uh, so I'll be giving this a run about now, testing it out. Now I was gonna fix it and then sell it, but I really like the sound of it, but I got no more room in my hi-fi. Where am I gonna put it? <laughs> Let me know in the comment section. Got any ideas? Where am I gonna put it? Under the record player maybe? Possibly, I don't know. Maybe? <laughs> anyway. That's the end of the video. Job done. Very pleased, very happy. I'll catch you in the next video.